Yes, Batman v Superman is out, and my review for that is coming really soon. But I gotta talk to Man of Steel first. Man of Steel stars Henry Cavill as Superman, Amy Adams as Lois Lane, Michael Shannon as Zod, Kevin Costner plays Jonathan Kent, and Russell Crowe plays Durrell. I think I'm, I might be forgetting a few people, but that's pretty much the gist of it. This movie got very mixed reviews, and you know what? While there's definitely a lot of problems with this movie, I overall liked it. I didn't love it, I wasn't jumping up and down for it, but I liked it. I even own it on Blu-ray. I've heard some people's complaints being that it's too dark, it's too depressing, it's not Superman, and you know what? That doesn't bother me. I think this is the best incarnation of Superman, and before I go further you should know, I'm not a huge fan of Superman. I respect his classicness, but I just never got emotionally connected or invested in the character. So I didn't care if they took liberties with him. I actually find this version a little bit more interesting. Look, I hate to bring Marvel into this, but I'm a Marvel fanboy. I grew up with Marvel. I'm more emotionally connected to those characters. And I just prefer that overall tone more over DC. But that doesn't mean I'm going to hate on DC for just not being Marvel. Just like this whole Marvel versus DC thing that I think is really stupid, I see nothing wrong with having a preference, but to me, quality is quality. And I'm going to be doing a video on that topic really soon. But I have to be honest, even though I don't like Superman from the comics, I think he's way overpowered and I just don't find him interesting. This movie made me way more of a Superman fan, so bravo to that. I loved Henry Cavill as Clark Kent. He just made him so much more human. And uh, Michael Shannon was great as Zod. Pretty much everybody in this movie gives a great performance. And my god, is this movie beautiful to look at. That's Zack Snyder's specialty. He's a great visual director, and I do mean great. But he definitely struggles on telling a good story. Now, I'm not saying the story was bad. I'm just saying it could have been cleaned up a lot more. But I do like how the story isn't told in chronological order. I thought that made for some better pacing. And speaking of pacing, this is what I mean by it could have been cleaned up a bit more. The stuff on Krypton and the Battle of Metropolis, while those looked great, those dragged on for days. These two things really bring the movie down for me. They could have easily cut out like a full 30 minutes out of that uh, last scene alone. That just kind of goes back to Zack Snyder's inability to tell a good story. And that's why most of this movie is just fireworks. Yeah, fireworks look great and I like them, but eventually you kind of get bored with them. Fireworks can't carry an entire movie. I mean, it looked great, but that's all they were were fireworks. So that's pretty much what this movie is to me. Mindless action, great acting, and a terrific score by Hans Zimmer. So I'm going to give Man of Steel a 6.5 out of 10. And if you're thinking, but Billy, I thought you said it's a positive movie. I thought you said you liked it. Why such a low score? Just to be clear, the way I look at the scores, 5 is completely in the center. You can't, you're not sure if you want to recommend it or not. It's right there. So anything higher than 5 is positive. 10 being perfect, 1 being horrible. So at the end of the day, I still like this movie. So what did you think of Man of Steel? And are you looking forward to Batman v Superman? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Make sure to like the video. And also you can find me on various social media under Billy Cooney. And as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.